Hey everyone, welcome, <clears throat> welcome to my channel. Um, today I'll be doing your July reading. Yeah, July readings uh, 2022. And this reading will be for Pisces. Pisces, how are you all doing? I hope all is well. <clears throat> Let's see what do we have for you. I miss you all. <laughs> um, it's been just busy around here, so don't really get much time but here I am let's do your reading okay and I'm still using I'm still in New York you can see the background music <laughs> the sirens but anyway um, I'm still using my very own tarot deck if you haven't um, gotten a copy of it yet check it out it's in my Etsy shop the link will be in the description box below all right Pisces, are we such in a hurry? Let's see. I'll do a free flow for you. Or maybe Celtic Cross. Let's do that. This will be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Okay, in love, in life, and everything in between. All right, Pisces, let's get to it. Your overall energy, Pisces, Queen of Cups. And there you are, yeah, Queen of Cups. This is you being compassionate, being loving, yeah. For some of you, I feel like if you have been through a lot lately, this is you trying to heal your own wound, yeah? Not waiting for, um, or perhaps you're waiting, but... I, I feel like it's more of an individual work, yeah, that you are you're having, yeah. You're learning to love yourself, you're learning to care for yourself, yeah. Let's see. What else do we have? A four of Wands. Well, you could have been spending um more time with uh family, with friends, yeah, having fun, feeling contented at some point. Yeah. We also have Ten of Wands, Seven of Wands, the Star. Nine of Pentacles to Three of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Wow. And the Five of Wands. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Chariot. So... <clears throat> I feel like you have, um, well, likely in the past, right? You have been um, trying to maintain balance in your life, trying to maintain um, peace and harmony wherever you can get it. It could be from your friends, not necessarily from someone that you are, are possibly wanting, but just in general. Yeah? It could be through friends, through family, um, to the people around you, the community that you have access to, right? You're spending time. Um, not necessarily on one person, but I feel it's more about um, a community, a gathering, yeah? And um, yeah, for some of you, I am getting that this could be, for some of you here who are intending to know more about your love life, I feel like you could be in a situation where things would have been in a form of commitment, a committed relationship. For some of you, you could be married or, you know, connecting with someone in a rather deep level. And you felt like that's it. That should be that person that you can be with. But for now, in terms of, of love, I'm getting that you are... You're sick and tired, yeah, of bearing all the responsibilities, um, giving, perhaps just giving more towards the other party. And um, yeah, I feel like you are tired and, and for some of you, this person may even have left, yeah, may even have left, you know, or just turned their back away from you and it's not a good it's not a good experience at all given that 
you may have had the Ten of Pentacles with them in the past. Yeah, but it got you thinking. It got you um, more into self... Uh, got you more some personal time, yeah, to understand yourself and learning to love yourself and learning to know what you really want. And so far, I feel like for this person, if you're dealing with someone in particular, this person is actually not giving exactly what you want. Yeah, no matter how much you try to be more harmonious with them, try to be um, more understanding. For, for some of you, you were going with the flow. Yeah, just to get through um, the day-to-day -day, uh, fights, perhaps, or arguments. Because at the end of the day, you just want to be um, harmoniously living with them. Yeah, and now I see that you are more... Fo you are more into you yeah you're more focused on yourself knowing that you are capable of loving capable of caring and that for some of you this is you really giving it to yourself um i could also see that if you have left somebody behind pisces or turned your back away from that person i am seeing that this is you now taking control of your own emotions and trying to heal on your own yeah understanding that if things do not work out well if you end up um troubled stressed dealing with a certain individual who is not giving or reciprocating back you might as well be on your own at least for now i'm not saying that this is the finality of it all it's more like you're taking a step back yeah gathering your thoughts um, recharging yourself and it could also be that this is you thinking what could be the next best course of action yeah because you very well know that you yourself you are very independent or that you are capable of being on your own yeah you're not uh, you can be creative for some of you this is you um, uh, able to handle your own life you know you're not dependent on to someone to pay your bills you're very um self-sufficient yeah and you can stand on your own it's just that you are very loving and life is a lot better if you're able to share it with someone that you love is especially someone that you are attracted to and this is you knowing the practical side versus the imaginary side of things imaginary because it has not been um you know the manifestation of of love or your dreams has not happened yet so it's it's still floating right it's not happening in 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 your reality so i i feel like now you are at the point of of realizing that practical life is practical life imaginary life or future life let's just put it that way your future is has still not fully manifested yeah but you're very hopeful i see that there is hope here there is that sense of it may not happen today but perhaps in divine timing um you know that if it is meant to be it is meant to be it will happen yeah that's that's what i'm getting but little do you know pisces i am getting that um you have someone here um if you are dealing with someone if you are if you are dealing with someone and this person's energy is still um you could still feel it i feel like this person wants to work things out with you whether it be through doing um projects together um some form of endeavor or at least just meeting up and, and talking about your ideas yeah, you have someone here who is open for that for collaborating also if there is a wish that you are hoping for, Pisces, not necessarily about love. It could be about your dreams, your hopes, your desires, you know, your your wishes for this year, whether it be about um, your kids, your family, or even on your job, yeah? I feel like in the immediate future, your wish will come true or you will get that sense of fulfillment, that sense of, of knowing, you know, that yes 
this is for me. If if you feel like you are, if right now you are dreaming about something, and you know that it is for you, keep having that um, faith. Yeah, keep having that faith, because you will get it. You have the star in your immediate future, and this is literally saying that for now, take time to focus on yourself, love yourself, be kind to yourself, because whatever is coming towards you is wish fulfillment. Yeah, wish fulfillment could be in a form of um, getting a job done, getting your wishes come true, your promotion, um, or even. A relationship that has been very difficult to deal with you will see or you will find some path yeah on how to achieve uh, a sense of renewal yeah sense of renewal if you have not been talking to someone if you have blocked somebody I feel like this is someone there is someone out there who is hoping that you will contact them or vice versa. This is some, you have someone around you who may not have been communicating as much, but they would want to poke you. They would want to communicate. They would want to reach out. They would want to start something new. Yeah, whether it be through communication, just keeping in touch, catching up with you and, you know, see things from there. Try to see if things can grow from there. Because this person has some form of intention. Somebody who um, may not show much uh, interest. Like I said, somebody who could have been um, ignoring you. But I see or I feel that there is a sense of wanting to collaborate, wanting to keep in touch, wanting to you know, propose something to start something off. Doesn't have to be proposal in love, but you know, propose something to do with you. You are not out of this person's mind. Yeah, just yet, no. Um, and this definitely could give you um, that sense of conflict, Pisces. Yeah, what I, whatever I'm saying right now, because for you, you are more focused on yourself. The only thing that is visible to you right now or the most visible thing for you right now is that you, yourself, your needs and that your hopes and dreams that are yet to come, right? Um, and for most of you, you could be hoping for someone to reach out, could be hoping for someone to, to give you that sense of stability. This could be another entity too. This could be your job. This could be your, your boss. Yeah, you are here to, you are, you have that sense of, you hope you will get whatever you want or whatever you desire. And you're hoping that somebody will contact you. Somebody will give you that opportunity. And I believe that that is coming. Yeah, because of this star, it's a very, this is your immediate future. So you could expect that to happen, you know, in the next, let's say, few weeks yeah um life will not be very easy it could be fun let's say let's look at the look at that uh look at it um in a way that um it's summer it's fiery people are passionate you know all the fire the heat the summer heat are out and you would see competitions there could be some you know a lot of a lot of the differences yeah of, of people around you are coming out so there could be a lot of competition. A lot of people are, are more passionate than ever. Yeah. And you could expect, yeah, in your general outcome here, you could expect that um, you will find yourself in positions where you have to uh, show what you've got, Pisces. Show what you've got, be it in, at work. Yeah, so let's say at work, if you're wanting more, then you got to show more. Yeah, if you're wanting to be seen, then you need to be visible. In love, if you're wanting to be, you know, to find someone, you got to be out there. Yeah, so this is somehow you, you may get comfortable in, in knowing that you're capable of loving. If that 
if a person would recognize just that, then it would have been a lot easier. But that is from your perspective. Whatever is being asked of you here to mitigate or at least to improve whatever is coming towards you, Pisces, is more about be seen, be visible, yeah, and fight for what you want. Yeah, fight for what you want. It's more about showing your passion in life, in love, yeah, and be out there. Sweat it out, basically. Let's see. Let's get you more cards here. I want to um, clarify this uh, Five of Wands. Yeah, Page of Wands and... <clears throat> Queen of Swords. At the bottom of the deck, we have the world. So whatever this is, Pisces, I feel like something new is brewing. Yeah, something new. This could be a new communication from someone. Someone new or someone from the past. Either way, there is something new. Yeah, a new fire that will come through your July. Right? Something new that you will be involved in. It could also be a new job. Yeah, new adventure. For, you. For some of you, this could also be traveling. But whatever this is, something new, you are ready. Yeah? You are ready to take on this new adventure, this new phase of your life. Yeah? Because you have been through a lot. Yeah? For some of you, you may be feeling, you know, uncertain, right? That may, you know, you may be feeling hesitant to try new things because cycles may just repeat all over again and then you will get hurt again but this right here is literally saying close out all those fears because your past is your past you already had the ten of wands and you're done with it yeah you understood fully why things have to happen that way in the past and that makes you more ready to face whatever competition to face whatever um uh, yeah, competition, conflict that's coming your way. Yeah, and you're very well equipped, yeah, to be more passionate than ever, especially to even to take a leap of faith, yeah, just something new. Let's see. What else do we have here for you, Pisces? Additional message. What can we get for Pisces? Oops. Um, oops, sorry. We have here Eve. Okay. There's something that you need to to venture on, Pisces. There's some really something new that's coming, brewing. And don't hesitate to ask questions. Yeah. Get clarity. Um, ask questions or be heard. Yeah. Speak up. There's no such thing as too many questions. If you need to ask questions to understand a scenario, to understand the intention of someone, or to understand the new position that you're taking on, ask. Yeah, because that's what you, you need to be more aware of. Here we have the rose and thorn. Yeah, sometimes, yeah, given that um, here, I feel like strongly there are some wishes that you will really want to take. But the rose and thorns is, is telling us sometimes you need to find a common ground. Yeah. Common ground with someone to achieve a certain goal. So there is a need for you here to probably compromise. Yeah. To get to get into some form of compromise, not to to always get the shorter end of the stick, but rather compromise that is, you know, a win win situation for both parties. Yeah. And then we have the clam. Something spicy. Um, if you feel like you need to speak up, go. Good. And um, go ahead. Speak up. Um, but always remember that words can be as sharp yeah, as a knife as well. So whenever you speak up, um, in tr when you are in situations where things can be tough to deal with, challenging, uh, very competitive. Competition is good, but then if the competition becomes unhealthy, right? There's some form of jealousy in there. Um, the clam, yeah, the clam closes, yeah? Or this is an advice saying that at some point it's good to restrain yourself from engaging into some conflicts that you know at the end will not give you 
satisfaction yeah and um you know you will if you will just end up saying things that you might regret later on might as well clamp up for now yeah that that, that there's that so it's more like um compromise and let's just say refraining from throwing knives or at least being visible to be thrown knives to into yeah so be careful there's that sense of you are ready to face these competitions head on but when you're there you are in the middle of the battlefield know when to retreat yeah or know when to make a compromise yeah for some of you if this is a job i feel like if you are hoping wishing for that specific job that specific promotion i feel like the pathway is going to be opened there could be some conversations that you need to take to undergo with someone which could lead to a better pathway for you right towards that promotion towards that new job but you may not get fully what you were wishing for in the beginning so this compromise is just saying that you get um you get to compromise in a way that you are comfortable with yeah as well as the other party is able to give um or to share that compromise with you you know what i mean so if you're hoping for 100 stars let's say you might just get 80 stars it's not as bad yeah because once you get the 80 stars you're like 19 stars away from the 100 that you wanted so there's this is exactly what these two cards are saying yeah push forward inquire talk negotiate yeah with eve as well you know use that power of negotiation and um know when to meet a compromise stance yeah and know when to close out okay so that type of reading is applicable for both um, not just about your love but in life in general let's see additional message what do we have here surrender to wonder and awe open to the magic of every moment and sense the awe and wonder in all of life this attitude will keep you connected to the ecstasy of flow yeah it's beautiful yeah. the magic surrender to the wonder and all this attitude pisces will keep you connected to the ecstasy of flow mm -hmm. i feel it's more about be open to surprises yeah be surprised sometimes you're pushing for what you want um if you don't get it no pouting yeah it's more like okay you don't get it today let's see tomorrow it's more it's more about that and you will see that as time goes on day by day your life will flow differently and you will start to see things differently as well yeah at the bottom here we also have surrender to non-action now is the time to be still and not act simply breathe and focus on your own power let others come to you okay that's a good one and i think that's what we have for now pisces and um look out for new readings um if i can make it uh, more for this month i will do so and this is for your monthly reading okay and i hope this gives you insights let me know if this resonates in the comment section below don't forget to hit like and subscribe and don't forget to check out my my tarot deck i still have a few left so you can check it out in my etsy shop the link is in the description box below bye pisces